Well, let's start with this uh, paper glue on board. I use Archie's paper, uh, watercolor, kind, uh, 300 grams, hot pressed. It's 45 inches by 69 inches. In this particular case, uh, I wanted it showing the edge of the paper, like in a etching style. So I will leave uh, part of the board thin on the edges. If you don't want this, just simply overpass the, the limits of the board and just at the end we'll cut it. I can look at the rest of the paper off. So what I'm gonna start doing is just put a couple of weights on top of the lead so I can roll easily the paper. So you can see, I'll use this board or whatever you have uh, to keep it because when it's uh, dry, the paper is really tight and it's really heavily rolled. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place uh, the board in the exact, exact, exact position that I want it. Uh, and once I have it there, I'm going to mark the paper in the exact line that I want it. Uh, once I get it perfectly done, I'll remove the board. And We'll finally cut the paper with the cutter. Okay. And here we got the paper. We're gonna proceed first to soak in water up in the sour and then bring it down and glue it to the board. Well, here I have placed the sour bar inside of the bathtub. I'm gonna hang the paper on, on it. I'm gonna soak it in both sides because it is a big paper. If it was a smaller one, I would do the same. Soak it in both sides and place it against the wall, the tight wall of the bathroom, to let it dry and then bring it downstairs. In this case, I'm gonna just uh, keep it here for the question of the size. And as you can see, I'm gonna soak it on both sides. And the uh, hard paper is gonna change into a kind of a piece of a cloth and it's gonna become soft and hard to handle. We don't need to let it dry completely. We're gonna just uh, wait till it's just a little wet, but not completely dry. And then we're gonna try to roll it to bring it downstairs and, and easily and, and glue it to the board, okay? Here we are, now it's a little drier and it's easy to handle as you can see, but you gotta be careful to take it downstairs. So I just fold it over a little to make it easy to move, okay? And we're gonna take it downstairs to glue it to the board, okay? Well, now what I do is I apply the glue on the board. Uh, as I said before, I'm a disaster in procedures, so I'm sure there are many much better glues in the market. A good friend of mine, Juan Gallego, told me there are much uh, better glues for the paper, less acid with the paper. But uh, I don't have any now, so I'm using just a regular paper wall glue. So I apply the glue and uh, now at this point the question is going to be how can I handle this situation because uh, the paper is huge and what I'm going to try to do is at the same time unroll the paper and apply the glue. Uh, you have to do it gradually and all at the same time. So let's see how, can, how we can do it. Let me finish applying the glue and we'll see the easiest way to do it. Well, here I have the paper. I'm gonna to try to place it in the right position, tame it, because it's a big and, an, and crazy paper. First, let's just apply a little more glue. And the question now is how to place a paper without wrinkles or bubbles, uh, as huge as it is, uh, in the right place. So what I normally use is some kind of uh, tool that I will help me to, to do so. In this case, I'm gonna use a, a bubble wrap roller that I have to place the paper on top of it and so be able to unroll it. Here I got a little crack to get rid of it. Well, first thing, best tools ever, your clean hands. Huh? So we'll take the paper, we just place it in the right position. Remember, in my case, it was living a little ledge like an inch around the paper as so well because I wanted to see the edge of the paper. If you don't want that, it's much easier. Just 
that it surpasses the limits and cut it off. So nicely take care of the paper, avoid any kind of wrinkles or bubbles, nicely, softly with your hands. It's gonna be easy because it's wet and it's easy to handle. Hmm? But now what we're gonna need is uh, the little tool that we talked about that uh, roller that will help us uh, proceed with the paper. You see, this is what I'm gonna use. You can use anything else or even without anything, you can do it, but uh, it will help if you have something like this and you just place the paper on top of it and that will, will allow you to uh, glue the board and unroll the paper simultaneous, simultaneously. Okay, this way I can keep on working here with the glue and at the same time and roll the paper. As you can see in the fast uh, sequence, it's just a question of patiently applying the glue, making sure that you spread it all regularly and you don't leave anything with a glue and make sure that there is no there are no crumbs or hairs or anything. And then slowly unroll and use your hands to make sure that there's no babble or wrinkle. As you can see, it's much easier than, than we could think at the beginning because the paper is, once it's placed on the board, it's uh, soft and nice to handle. And if you have any, you can make, make any mistake, you can go backwards and remove whatever is there and place it again. So it's really nice. Just with clean hands and patient, this is all we need to do. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a soft brass with more glue to make sure that the, the edge of the paper is perfectly glued to the board. Uh, this part is important because uh, it's a place where the paper will uh, unglue in the future if we don't do it right. It's not a big deal, even if it happens, uh, it will be easy to solve. You just need to get the paper that is sticking out. You just get it wet and place glue on the paper and on the board and you will fix it. But it's much better if we do it now properly, nicely, and then we don't need to fix it. As you can see, it's just go all over the, the edge and make sure that everything is done. And here it is. Here's a board for this big paint. And here is an image of the drawing I made on it. So you can appreciate the little inch around the paper that are left where you can see the, the board. That's what I meant when I talked about that, that particular kind of etching finish. I also highly recommend a strong frame to support the board uh, on the back of it. Okay, thanks for your attention. Bye-bye.